I'm going to briefly go over the formulas, but the other video that's posted kind of goes over the differences. So the first formula is for when you have a power analysis and you want to... All right, so let's do examples. So you're calculating a Cohen's D for a power analysis for a two-sample deep dependent design. So the observations are paired. You want to know the sample size that you need, but first you need to calculate the effect size from a past study. Based on the following information, what would the effect size be? And the difference, the mean of the difference scores is nine, and the standard deviation of the difference score is five. So we have all the information we need. We don't need to find the standard error because we're doing Cohen's D. So we have D, and then the mean of the difference scores is nine. One is zero. The zero comes from the null, and it's always going to be zero for this class for a two sample test. But we don't really need to worry about that because it's just just subtracting zero, which does nothing. And then the standard deviation is five, so we have nine divided by five, which is one point eight, and that's it. Here's an example for practical significance. So, is the difference really a big difference or not? They conducted repeated measures, t-test, and found a significant result. You want to know the practical significance of your result based on the following information. What is the Cohen's D A B? Round to the second decimal places needed. So the mean of the difference scores is 19. The standard deviation of time 1 is 5. And the standard deviation of time 2 is 6. So here we have, you know, time 1. And then you would have time 2. And then you have the difference score. So this mean comes from this column. I mean, you have observations here but you don't really need them to do that problem I'm just showing you where these numbers really come from and then you find the standard deviation from this column and the standard deviation from this column so you don't really treat them as paired when you find the standard deviations and that's because you want to keep the individual differences in the standard deviation, you don't want to remove that because then it makes the standard deviation really tiny and it makes you, makes it look like the effect size is really big, but it's really not. But it can be really big if you're doing it for power analysis, but we're not. So here we have that. So we have D equals 19, so that's the mean of the difference score is minus zero. We don't really need that. It's just from the null, but most of the time it's going to be zero. In the class, it always will be zero, but sometimes it's not zero. And then we have standard deviation from time one plus standard deviation from time two divided by two. And you want to put kind of parentheses around this when there's like a fraction. And so you want to do it in the parentheses first. So this is just 19. And then you kind of have another fraction here, so you want to do the top first. So 5 plus 6 is 11. And then you do 11 divided by 2, which is 5.5. You have a 19 divided by 5.5. And that equals... 3.45 repeating, and if you want to round it to the second decimal place, that would be 3.45 because next to this 5 is a 4, so you round down. So it's 5 and above, you round down. And there you go. That would be a Cohen's D for that, which is actually really big. And that's it.